Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create sketches like these here using ink pens and watercolor materials. The materials you will need are water brush pens, micron pens, or you can use fine tip sharpies. Next you'll need a sketch and wash pencil, watercolor crayons, or you can use watercolor pencils. Next you'll need to tear out a sheet of watercolor paper and make sure to work on the rougher side of the paper, there will be a smooth side as well. Next I'm taking my sketch and wash pencil and I'm using it to create different mark making lines. So I have some more dense lines. I also did some cross hatching, just trying to vary that. And then I'm also using my watercolor crayons to create different values with those as well. And I'm also trying out this technique with my watercolor pencils. Again, just trying to experiment with different mark making techniques, seeing what um, different lines I can create. So now for the fun part, you're gonna take your water brush pen or you can use a paintbrush and water. And I'm just cleaning off my brush there. And we're gonna blend out those different marks that we did, um, just using short strokes or you can um, use longer strokes um, against the marks that you did or with the grain of the marks that you did. And I'm just going to clean off my brush again before moving on to a new color. So now I'm testing this out on the crayon that I did and then also on the watercolor pencil. So after having experimented with the different marks that we can make, we're now going to create a sketch like these. And I'm going to start off with my Micron pen, and I'm going to create just a simple line drawing, just really essential details. And this is just a small still life that was in front of me, it's a candle. So I'm just creating an outline. You'll basically want to create a shape that you can fill in later with our watercolor materials. Something I like to do with my drawings is add in a little bit of a background or a setting for my object just to really ground it and anchor it onto the page. So now I'm using my sketch and wash pencil and I'm going to add in just some shading to my objects. I have a little shadow here, um, just the darkest parts um, and those middle tone grays that are in your object. Next I'm going to use my water brush pen and I'm going to blend out those marks that I just created. I like to go with the direction of the lines that I create just to keep things really smooth. Um, but you can do whatever you want, just depends on what kind of look you're going for with your sketch. I'm going to add in some color to my drawing. This is an optional step, but I thought it'd be fun to try out a mixture of the grays and also just little hints of color in my objects. So I did some yellow and then brown for the table that it was on. Now, if you want to experiment even more with this, you can take a Micron pen and add in some more details. So I just add, added some hatching marks to deepen up the shadows of my drawing. An additional technique that I think is really fun to try is first adding some water to your watercolor page and then drawing on top of it with your different watercolor materials. And you can see how intense and rich the colors are when you try this technique. So here's the finished sketch that I created, along with some different experimental mark makings that I did. So gather these supplies, try out these different techniques, um, and enjoy having fun with this. And thank you so much for watching.